Canadian health advocates are warning tonight about a new nicotine product that they say is being marketed to kids. Nicotine pouches are approved by Health Canada with no restrictions on how they're advertised or who can buy them. Christine Birak explains. A flavored nicotine pouch that slowly releases the drug inside the user's mouth. They're now on sale in convenience stores and technically anyone can buy them. It simply boggles the mind that Health Canada has made it legal for flavored nicotine products from Imperial Tobacco to be sold to children. Health Canada approved Zonic as a natural health product, similar to a nicotine gum or patch. But critics point out those nicotine replacement therapies for smokers are sold in pharmacies without any lifestyle ads. Zonic's slogan is, anytime, anywhere. Still, Imperial Tobacco insists store owners won't sell to anyone under 18. We don't accept that any retailers will sell them to youth. It's a nicotine product. Um, we know that nicotine creates an addiction. Nicotine is also in vape products. Data shows Canada has some of the highest teen vaping rates in the world. So haven't we learned anything? The sales of nicotine pouches have been raising alarm bells in other countries. They're now banned in Belgium and the Netherlands. Health Canada itself on its website says that nicotine is as addictive as cocaine and heroin. He's right. The agency also states nicotine can kill brain cells and the developing brains of youth and young adults are particularly vulnerable to long-term nicotine exposure. These teens say Zonic ads feel like they're geared to them, not adults. It doesn't make sense. It's going, it's like contradicting everything. I don't think so. It's just going to end up in the hands of children like again. We're not calling for a ban on these products. What we're calling for is a suspension of their sale until measures can be put in place to protect children in the nicotine market. In response, Canada's health minister says the government will look into reports that tobacco companies are marketing their products to children, but made no mention of suspending the sale of nicotine pouches in the meantime. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto. Ontario is the latest province to push for greater transparency about how much workers will be paid for a job they're applying for.